Hello and welcome to vlog number six of the Athenaeum campaign. Boom. I'm Where do we start? start? <laughs> I'm in shock. Somebody uh, else go. <laughs> so I'll start it out. What would have happened with the Sunshine Twins <laughs> they split up? I'm sorry, say that again? If the Sunshine Twins split up. Because they go oh. in two different directions down the hallway. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, no, that's a very good question. I, I would have on the fly had to think of something, some individual scenarios for them. I didn't think about it in that moment. But if I was forced into it, then I would have had to think of something like by the seat of my pants. So I honestly don't have a, an answer specifically because I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't think of it at the time. So, but a very good question. This was in <laughs> intense as the only word I can think of right now. Cause yeah. yeah. And of course, Adventuring Party 101 fail, right? Split the party. But that's horror 101. It's too. part of it. Yeah, yeah. it's part, of, it's part the, of it. It's part yeah. of it. So it was hilarious. Yeah. Our pairings, I think, were just genius. Perfect. Yes, yeah. perfect. Perfection. I, <laughs> I, it was a blast. This I know you have questions. Well, I, I do. You have I, do. I, do. I, can't, I know they can't be answered yet. <laughs> What was questions about like what's this? Like, right. Well, we're gonna ask Sam or Joe. What was in the meat locker? Yeah, good Ooh. question. Mm -hmm. So, in the meat locker, had you decided to go into the meat locker, you would have essentially found another uh, another flashlight and a fresh set of batteries. So ah. there would have been no. You wouldn't have had necessarily been in danger of burning yourselves alive if you had gone into the meat locker. In addition to that, you would have found the key that would have opened the door that was locked for them because they had to, like, break down the door to go into the powder room, the black powder room, basically. So, yeah, the meat locker, all that was in there was that um, if, however, you had tried to remove some of the black, some of the black um, garbage things, then what you would have seen underneath would be pole cats now the first one would not have been the pole cat not not um stormy but if you were curious and started pulling them one out after the other you would have eventually seen stormy hung up in the meat in the meat rack yes glad i didn't see that right same frankie would have freaked yeah, that's what you would have. That would have happened. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! I was worried about Frank when he saw Victor. See yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That was a big one. He he yeah. just froze up. He froze up, and it, you know, just barely was he able to get out of that grapple. Yeah. Um, I then I, start to pull him out. I'd like to believe mentally that's going to affect Victor. Maybe even past this world, it might, um, or mentally affect Frankie. Maybe even past this world, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. I have a question. Um, would Tori have been safe if she had gone into the asylum? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. If she had just gone into the asylum like Pigsley told her, she would have been fine. Perfectly fine. Yeah. It's that fear of being alone kind of overwhelms. Yeah. Her yeah. sense oh of logic. Yeah. And Good uh, question. she wouldn't have left her friends behind. So. Yeah. She would have been perfectly fine. Oh, that was. Tori, I'm sorry that that hit hard for me. Was a <laughs> brutal <laughs> way to go to. Start. But she saw it. Yeah. It was foreseen. That yeah. was that, that doll. Was foreseen. <laughs> I was like, that was exactly what happened. That is what happened. Oh my god. I'm so, like, <laughs> is Emily gonna have to make a new character? <laughs> right. Know. That's a good question. Like I, I like I had a theory. I said I had a horrible thought in chat, and I had a theory. I. I'd rather you kept it to yourself. Okay, yeah. I'll ask you, Hark. I'll put it to you specifically. Okay. Yeah. So, keep like, it, keep that theory to yourself, because I, yeah. yeah, I have a feeling you might, but yeah, just. I also <laughs> have a theory, but I'll keep it to myself. Yeah, I'll, too. I'll, keep I'll, it to yourself for now. <laughs> I'll just send it to keep Hark it to later. Keep it to yourself <laughs> for now. Um, 
what would have happened if uh, Tori went to beat after she heard him sneeze? Like, oh, gone into the bathroom. Yes, yes. So, um, what had happened was... Actually, I'll save... Well, I'll save one of the details for later. I'll save a detail for later. But what I will say, what would have happened if you gone... So, it depends. Like, are you saying, like... At first, instead of you going into the storage room in the first place, you went to the bathroom? Or are you saying after you left the storage area, if you went towards the bathroom? Is that what you... Well, I guess both, because I'm wondering if Bede would have so, split up from her regardless. So <laughs> the, I'll, the easier one to answer is this is the latter. So if yeah. you went from the storage room to try to go to the bathroom, so Vid would have instinctively like locked the door behind him. Oh. Um, instinctively. So the door would have been locked. Um, but had you gone into the bathroom, um, with bead, then you both would have had to figure out a way to squeeze your way into the window. Now, the thing is, it's not going to, it's going to be very like short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's going to take a while for you to squeeze. And then you have to decide who's going to go first. And then depending on who goes first, of course, the monster is going to break in just as the second one is trying to squeeze through the window. So you would have had that kind of thing. It would have been possible, depending on how poorly you would roll, it would have been possible if whoever was left, if their legs, one of their legs was at least amputated. Like that would have been something um, that could have happened. Uh, but you would have been together. You would have still been together regardless. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So the fortunate th the fortunate thing is because you split up, it divided the creature's attention. So he couldn't go after you both. So you, you weren't going to be both threatened at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you actually did split up actually kind of saved you because neither you nor Veed actually got really hurt, badly hurt. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, he found you in the, in the closet, but the only reason that happened is because you failed your role. Mm -hmm. Had you succeeded, you've been fine. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I was failing a bunch today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I good today. I was no. gonna say, here's a question. Um, is there a reason why the woodwhacker guy never came after Sam in black powder? We never saw him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a good question. Um the honest answer is because the scenarios just didn't work itself out that way. Mm -hmm. So they the weed whacker guy would have gone after them, it's just I was trying to keep the different scenes as diverse as possible, but I also did so I didn't want them to always be the weed whacker guy. I wanted to sprinkle in different things, and it just so happened that your scenarios just didn't necessarily encounter him specifically. I was gonna ask about uh, Tori seeing Sam's barbed wire. Yeah. I, I, so you're talking about yeah. Yeah. So the barbed wire. There were two. There were two of the dolls visions that you didn't see come true mm -hmm. um or um that you kind of saw hints of so with the barbed wire yeah had you gone down the hall with a barbed wire it would have just flown off of the walls and trying to wrap you all and you would have had a hard time struggling to like to make your way out and i would have specifically made it focus on sam because the implication was sam was the one that was supposed to die by that way mm -hmm. so um and so that was the barbed wire. The grass ones, the grass was just coming out of the mouth and the ears and stuff. So that scene was actually the scarecrow scene. So if Tori did not play with, did not play by Thursday's rules, if Tori was like, I'm not doing this, I'm not answering this question, if like she refused to answer the truth or dare question, or if she allowed time to run out without answering it, then the scarecrows would have basically come to life and they would try to like catch Tori and then essentially turn her into a scarecrow. Like stuff mm -hmm. her with straw. Just forcibly stuff her with hay and straw oh. until it was literally coming out of the openings of her body until she died that way. So that was... <laughs> that never happened because you actually played nice with the kids. Um, yes. But you were very close to not answering the question. I know. So, she really didn't close. want to answer that question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh. if that happened, who knows how your friends would have... If if, who, if they got help from P Pigsley, probably not. <laughs> like, probably so not. So that definitely... 
changed would have changed a lot if you had died there. So yeah. Joe, I love how much Sam turned into a nerd, like a book yeah. Wikipedia yeah. Yeah. nerd. Yeah, I love that. That gave so me fun. life so much. <laughs> I was living for it. What is he gonna say next? <laughs> It's, I, tried to, I tried to think of different routes I could have taken it. And so I was thinking like Revenge of the Nerds. Yep. I was going all over the place before I settled on. No, I've got to stick with something because I didn't want to completely redo all of his like skills and traits and everything. So mm -hmm. I was thinking, what's something that's, you know, still going to be able to use some of the same things. So I went right to that Spencer Reed. That was my go-to. Love it. Yeah. It reminded me of the little boy in uh, the remake of It, the little boy who was a hypochondriac, like who kept saying, <laughs> "Oh, gray water has this," and it just when you were when you were saying it, but then when you mentioned scent, I was like, "Oh my god, it's so perfect!" Like, oh my god, you are awesome, all of you. You guys did mm -hmm. such an amazing job. I love this set. This, uh, I'm still emotional over Tori, so I'm trying to distract myself before I start crying. <laughs> me too. Yeah. No, please yeah. distract. <laughs> It to. was crazy because I was literally going through the book. It's like, she can't be dead. She can't, <laughs> she can't die here. There's got to be some rule here that can save her life. And it's like, Doo. done. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, that's tough. Mm -hmm. As I, yeah, that's really tough. Mm. Dean, I'm so curious where Reed is. Yeah, I wonder where Reed yeah. or I Sue can't, is. Yeah, Please. I can't tell it's you that yet. All alone. Right? <laughs> They're probably already in the asylum. Come on. <laughs> it definitely would have been different if Tori was still with Veed. Yeah, because yeah, I, I was giving that up ability for you to still stick with Veed, but it didn't play out that way. Also, I should mention, Black Powder, that by this point in game, an hour has passed since your last bad luck roll. Oh so my just God. as an FYI. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a bad luck roll that, I've, that I can choose to like. Yeah, and. It's a bad luck roll. <laughs> our powers leaving or flipping upside down holy cow yeah. like that right? yeah. talk about challenging us as players because oh now we have gosh. to get creative without yeah. our yeah. key abilities mm -hmm. yeah your your flavor balls worked yeah. yes. yes and tori was the only one who tried it so yeah the only thing is your players your characters have, may not have thought about yet but the flavor balls did work oh, wow. and your an out of character your artifacts could work too mm -hmm. but nobody's used any of your artifacts yet no so, I'm giving you them for the reason. I know, yeah. I know. Use them. I know. I've, got Use one, them. I've gotten the one prepped, but I figured I would need it if the crows came back or if the weed whacker man came. That I'd use the the one, but yeah. I know of one that would have been really powerful at a specific moment, but I'm not gonna talk about oh, it because I want to see. I if thought of that too. It. <laughs> it's like, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh man, there are so many. I yeah, love yeah. how like Frankie and Star it's, like just walked right past the doll at first. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> they just totally ignored the doll, which is fine. No, it's fine. I think they learned. I think they figured it out yeah. later. They're, oh yeah, we probably should have. Yeah, we I probably just should have trusted was the music. So funny. But <laughs> what I wanted to do was I didn't want to kind of meta with that. I wanted right. Frankie to make it like. Oh, use the dolls for your magic instead, right? Like, yeah. Don't, yeah. not for the other stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. and that way it gave us a reason to go back to the dollhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. I like that you did that. Yeah. I just thought it was so funny that you guys just walked right back. Yeah, yeah. We were like, <laughs> yeah. The fuck no, the fuck like, yeah. Oh, man. Not today. We, we opened that door like dollhouse. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You know what I want to know? If I, I or Frankie had rolled higher on our magic checks, would they still have work if we got critical success? Yeah, critical success, yes, they would have worked, but you oh. have to get a critical success wow. to work. That's good. That would have been Oof. hard to do, yeah. So it would have been yeah. really hard. Yeah. Crap. Wow. No, I, I, I am happy to hear that you appreciated the challenge of this genre, because, yeah, like, this this genre is meant to be difficult because mm -hmm. it's it's survival horror, and so with survival horror, I had to like amp up amp up the difficulty because in comparison to Star, like when you did the final boss of Star, yeah. like Davy Deals, it was just <laughs> I do Bellator. this and then I do this because that fits the genre. But here it's like complete one eighty. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, like training gloves are off. You all, yeah. I, I am. Nobody's safe. You can die. I am happy. You can definitely die. We actually rested before coming to Tori's world. Yeah. Otherwise, Black Powder yeah. would be dead. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. this was said earlier. Hark. Yeah. You're a person who doesn't like horror, but honey, no. you nailed it. Well. You really I did. Do. You yeah. did Amber this genre failed. justice. For yeah. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, and I'm biased, I but this that. has been my favorite session so far. Oh yeah, yes. oh, I, I, this probably would just happen. <laughs> yeah, th this one in particular, I think, has shown how the uh, interactions in the other worlds have affected characters now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. black powder surprised me big time with that with that tea being spilt all over the table. Like, I was shocked. I was. Shocked. I wasn't planning on doing that. Yeah, that was a really cool moment. I was like, oh, wow. Ooh. No, the walls are coming down. Those wow. barriers. Yeah. Ooh. yeah, that was... When did you when did you initially um, want that reveal to happen, Thistle? I didn't, I didn't want it to come to light until we were in Black Powder's world. I wanted okay. it to be, bam, here you go. You're either with me or you're against me. Make your I gotcha. <laughs> so what made you decide, you know, this is the time. Like, what made you decide as a player, not as a character, well, as a player? For me, it was a conglomeration of stuff coming up, especially with, like, what happened in Star's World with Taylor and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's And seeing... Because it, it, in out of character, I think about what happened in character. Um, mm -hmm. I noticed, like, how much Frankie fought to get Victor back. How much Star fought to make sure people were safe and how much he loved uh, Stormy. How much uh tori is going through to get her sister back and black powder's like i have no reason it doesn't matter anymore if i can okay. keep sam alive i'm keeping sam alive mm -hmm. i can't be a hero in my world i'm gonna be a hero in somebody else's i like that yeah mm -hmm. i like that yeah. mm, that's that's very profound wow mm. Taylor yes. threw me for a loop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All because of Taylor. So, again, yeah, so that's really cool. I want to ask then, um, of all of the the horror scenes in this, which one did you personally find to be the scariest, creepiest, mm -hmm. most uncomfortable scene? And it, of course, doesn't have to be the one that involved your character. It can involve another character. Easily Tori's death yeah. because it was the okay. being held down, unable to fight as you're getting tortured to death. <laughs> like that okay. to me was like, oh gosh. <laughs> that was awful. For me, it was when Tori split from uh Veed and mm. she was hiding in the closet. In the closet. Mm. And it's like yeah. Well, real talk, I've been in a situation similar to that, in real life, where I was in a closet, mm. I had to find a way to use a weapon. And mm, because I was younger wow. and smaller and skinnier, oh my, gosh. It, my tool didn't work, but my teeth did. And I used oh Mutton Jeff gosh. and I ran for my life. So wow. that oh my gosh. was a real life moment for me. So that wow. was really gosh. hard. And seeing Tori, you know, again, this yeah. is why I'm super emotional. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I understand this is a game, but it's just like real life mm -hmm. images. So it, Nothing you did, Hark. I'm not mad. It's just... Oh, no one's yeah. mad now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I apologize that that's triggering. No. I apologize no, no, that. No. It's just, it's life. Yeah. I do, speaking of Tori, I do appreciate when a player like Emily says, this is honestly my favorite session, and it's the session that her character died. It's like, <laughs> like it's, it's, it's like my, my character died, but you know what? This is an awesome session. So. It was really, it was really fun. Yes. It Very was all around. Like, yeah. It was a roller coaster, like a horror yeah. movie. This is why I wa love watching horror movies. Is it takes right. me on a roller coaster, right? Of scare and success and death and life and humor, humor. humor. Yeah, it had there's... everything. Yeah, it had everything. I love it. Slutty Frankie can be on my team any day of Slutty the week. Frankie. <laughs> Slutty the Frankie dice, so fun. the dice was on my favor today. Right? Mm -hmm. I took advantage yeah. of it. That was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it was so. Some of us were rolling really good. Others really bad. Yeah, Ooh, Frankie yeah. was doing great. <laughs> um, but how about the other three in terms of the scariest or creepiest, most disturbing scene from today's session? So for me, it was for you. 
the cockroaches coming out of the doll all over mm. that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was awful. Yeah. It, yeah. it was good. Yeah. How about Emily or Alex? Um, Probably the scene with the two kids, uh, especially when the oh. little boy, like, lobs yeah. uh, Scruffy's head off, the scarecrow. Yeah. That, in my mind, I'm thinking, like, ooh, is the Scooty Poo gang okay? Like, watch out. Yeah. I cannot stand that is one of the biggest things one of the biggest horror tropes for me is creepy kids like yeah i'm very much i love i'm a, such a kid person though that's the thing i love kids but when you've got like the children of the corn thing going on i'm like nope 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 yeah. that's why people have warned me and i know it's gonna happen that I'm just gonna be like waking up, and my one of my kids it's is like, gonna be staring at me, like you know, like looking at me. He's like, "I want some water," and I know I'm gonna freak out. So I'm like, <laughs> have to prepare myself for that. Children so that, will do it. So when I was doing the Thursday and, and Pigsley scene, and of course the viewers will probably know like the reference to Thursday and Pigsley. I was like, "How can I? If it were me, if I was Emily, how would I freak myself out?" So I just did everything I could think of that would scare me. <laughs> so. <laughs> well done. Yeah. And how about you, Alex? Um, I think for me, in terms of like the moment that, I, I think it's a moment that happened to my character. I mean, there were some moments that it happened to every character that are, like, are really funny, but like for me, it was the footsteps coming from behind. It's such mm. a trope. And of course I was yeah. like s the slow turn and then they're like right there. <laughs> That's yeah. what I was afraid of it happening. Like we turn around and the thing is like right there is about to grab me. That would have freaked me out. But I'm glad he was a little yeah. further away. But that was the moment where like, okay, you shine the light, of course. And it gave me all those images of when you see movies like Aliens or whatever. And then you like, you shine the light. It's like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I hate the dark like growing up even mm -hmm. even in my early 20s i was like still very afraid of the dark um and so i was of course loved that i gave you the option of finding that flashlight in the meat locker but the fact that you didn't go into the meat locker and just pl plunge into the darkness i'm like oh boy oh, I'm like oh it's gonna be really scary since you don't have that flashlight i was like oh it was oh, great you got though. the cleaver though you have the cleaver though yeah that's good yeah I was thinking mm -hmm. that there was a very good use of that dull knife at some point. Yeah. That was not used. So I'm not going to give away no. what that would have been. But I'm like, you could have used your dull knife for that. But I'm not going to say anything. So. Uh, yeah. Missed opportunities, man. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to say this session was so good because it really challenged us. It challenged yeah. you have to be creative. As a player, what would your character do? What would, you know, try to get out of this problem? Problem solving. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, and I, like, I just... Go for it. Go for I was it. just going to say, like, a perfect example was, like, Emily in the closet. Trying uh, everything. Tori in the closet. Like, think of, like, something bitter or something. It's like, the coffee worked. That one it did, did work. <laughs> but I was like, come on, think of something. But I it's know. okay. It's hard. I can understand it's hard. So, all of the in character dialogue between all of our characters was absolutely genius. Mm -hmm. I, and what I will say, I really am digging um, uh, uh, Bennett Lee. I'm really digging mm -hmm. that couple. I ship it to this day. I want bumper stickers. Um, but I liked how you two tried to protect each other at all costs. You know what I'm saying? I, I like how. You know, even though it didn't work out, how Black Powder kept trying to use the the jacket to protect, and then like the swimming in the water, and like using your hand to like, hey, I'm over here. Like, I, it's like I don't know have you guys have ever done relay races before, but like when you're trying to get your partner's attention, like, hey, this way, like here's where you need to go. It remind me of that a little bit. But yeah, I I absolutely love the dialogue between you two. And I thought it was really interesting, the conversations, uh, about to say Sue, but Veed was having with Tori about your sister. And, and there were things coming, bubbling to the surface. I was like, oh my God. And then of course, me and Frankie, it was just, it was gold. I was just cherry picking off of Frankie. It was just fine. 
Fern Frankie were comedy gold. Yeah. <laughs> we needed it so badly. Otherwise, this would have been a dark session. Yeah. Perfect for that horror movie trope, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that pairing was like perfect for a horror movie trope. Yeah. I mean, those characters have been put in horror movies for diffusion of tension. So it's like, yeah. yes, it mm-hmm. worked perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I-, I did love how this session wasted no time in diving right into the action. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. it was instantly, all right, we're moving. All the other ones, it's like, oh, let's let's feel it out. Let's see what's going on. Let's take play of the land. And here I was like, nope, you got to go. <laughs> yeah. I'm so nervous about what we have to do next session. A good uh, question. Next session I'm really excited about because I feel like I'm trying to do something I'm, but and I'm hoping it's something that you will totally not expect. I'm hoping you won't expect it. So we'll see. Didn't expect this. <laughs> what if I need to make a new character? <laughs> We can't speak that into existence. I'm, I'm, I'm not emotionally ready for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> not either. <laughs> she didn't get to find her sister. <laughs> That's what's killing me. Like, to, like, I have a legitimate question of, like, if one of us dies in our own world, do the others get ejected out of it? Like, does that story just end? Is, my, is like, oh. something I am wondering. That's, okay. The honest answer is, yeah, I did think about that. And the other answer is, it was one of those things where I'm like, I'm just gonna cross that bridge if we get to it. Okay. So for right now, I'm not gonna worry about it, and I'll just think about what'll happen, what the what it would what would happen on the fly. So I haven't really given that much thought. <laughs> but once I'm forced into it, then I'll make a decision in that moment, like what happens. So I haven't thought about it really that much. Okay. Good question, though. Very good question. Um. Okay. Thursday. <laughs> Thursday freak, I don't know where she came from. She freaked me out. As I was talking, I was like, I wasn't even, it wasn't even me talking. It's like, who is this person? Like, cause I feel like I got possessed in somebody's like talking. Like, <laughs> she creeped me out. I did yeah, not. Oh. Did. Excellent. Did you have job. a question? Oh, you, thank you. I appreciated that. Thursday, oh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah, ooh. yeah she was creepy. Yeah. But, I mean, the truth she was given uh, that yeah, was uh, yeah. digging straight into that, Tori. That was like, the, yeah. Mm. No, um, no, I'm I'm very curious about what those ticks are. Yeah. I got two. <laughs> yeah. Sorry oh, about yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I like as soon as the question was like asked, is like, oh, I know the answer. <laughs> like it's got it's black powder. Like she doesn't I was trust trying it. to avoid it. I so, like I, I knew avoid it, and I was like. Ooh, how's this gonna affect things? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. The rest of you, who has how many? Who has ticks and how many ticks do you have? You have two, one. Okay, one. Yeah, you still have one. I would actually, well, give yourself two. Give yourself two more, <laughs> Tori. Give yourself two I more. Right three. Now. Okay. So now you have three. So three ticks. Yeah. Oh my lord. Oh, mm-hmm. now my head is spinning. <laughs> right. Yeah. I want to talk about this theory, but I'll, I'll, I'll mess with Tark because I want to at least get it out. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Yeah. People are going to have, okay. th- people are going to have theories. Oh yeah. 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 I want people yeah. to have theories. Yeah. I want people to have theories. It's interesting to see some of the, um, and just the discussions when this premieres. I think. Oh yeah. Yes. For those yeah. that want to watch it. <laughs> yeah. For those, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. Hopefully. Yeah. I, I mean, so. hopefully it, it'll be okay for most people. Like, I don't think, I didn't get super, super, super graphic, because I could have yeah. gone very graphic, but yeah. I think I alluded to many things, and a lot of it is let your imagination fill in the gaps, mm-hmm. um, which can be scarier, mm-hmm. so. Yes. Yeah, oh my goodness. I, I have I have other questions, but I need to formulate them better. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I, well, I have, I, I, I guess my question is, being 100% honest, if coming into this session, before we even started the session, if you had to pick which character amongst the five of you you thought was the least likely to survive, if you were to pick someone you thought was least likely, which one do you think would have been the least likely? Sam. Sam would have been least likely? Okay, as the nerd. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, honestly. Also Sam? Okay. Well, either Sam or Frankie. Honestly. Frankie? Yeah, Okay. because he was... 
at least at first, Select really us living. To be the first one. Well, yeah. fat, but also at first he was really kind of uh, playing up the almost dumb blonde. <laughs> yeah. 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 Plus, his fear of death still comes into That's play. True. So I fear thought he might comes be into play. incapacitated yeah. to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll imagine. be honest. I I I thought I was gonna be the first to die. I'm the slut. Okay. The slut always always the first to die. So I was right. going yeah. in like, oh, I am, and I'm researching like the trope for the slut or the cheerleader or the the cute one. Yeah, they die first, death by death <laughs> by sex. Death by sex is death how sex. they go. So I'm like, I think I'm the first one, guys. So I'm just gonna live it up. <laughs> no had to be the protagonist so that see that coming well then it hit me like <laughs> oh wait i'm still frankie bitch like mm -hmm. i got strength i got this i'm not oh yeah i'm not a weakling mm. yeah for me i honestly thought it was gonna be sam also okay i i i'm sorry i i just thought it was gonna be sam no how about you i thought Frankie first, just because of the trope. Yeah, the trope. Nerd, yeah, nerd is usually one of the next ones because either they're trying to prove themselves or something. They don't think of the danger and they walk right into it. And then you know it's that shocking, oh shit, kind of. Yeah. So I thought Frankie first, me second, and then okay. Black Powder third. Yeah. And then the kind of I figured. Star was pretty safe because usually, you know, that type of character, they duck just when the axe swings across and it is just like dumb luck yeah. that they survive nearly till the end. And then they're the last one the virgin sees die. Right. Yeah. How many of you, where did Tori fall into that? Into that hierarchy of likelihood to you did not think that Tori was going to be the first to die, or okay, I probably yeah. expected Tori to be like an expert of her own world, but really, she isn't, <laughs> she's just as vulnerable as everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so starting, I thought Tori would be somewhere in the middle, hmm. but yeah. when I saw her use her abilities and we were all not, I was like, oh, she's the final girl, like, she's the final yeah. girl with the superpowers, like, of mm -hmm. course, she's gonna survive this. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Yeah, I thought. Well, it, the, sorry, I thought it was like Star and and Frankie were going to be the first two to die. When we got paired up, yeah, and we were the first mm -hmm. to split off. We're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're dead. We're yeah, so dead. Admittedly, that was well, my thoughts. <laughs> the, a lot of the so many people who are watching probably see that I definitely borrowed a lot of themes from uh, Until Dawn, the game Until Dawn, and. Many times, if you're trying to like meta or game the systems, many times the courageous way, or risky but not stupid, if that's if that puts it, the courageous way tends to be the better way. And so for Tori, I felt like she definitely was well equipped. Like if she was put in a situation with a meat locker, she was like, "Let's go in the meat locker," and you would have found the flashlight. Um, and I think she also did great with Thursday because some people might have like buckled under pressure and say, I don't know, I can't pick, I can't pick. And then if they couldn't pick, then they would have gotten penalized for it. So I think that Tori has, it's a double-edged sword because because she just rushes into things, mm -hmm. it can help her, but it also can hurt her. So yeah, it just depends on the given situation. Yeah. 